The offspring creature from Alien Romulus was a three-way hybrid between a human, xenomorph and engineer. It stood at around 8 feet in height with a gaunt skeletal build, a very engineer looking face, head and skin colour. It was seen to grow a long tail just like a xenomorph. On the creature's back there can be seen the beginnings of four dorsal tubes, also like those of the xenomorph XX121. It also has an inner mouth similar to an alien, as well as claws which it used to disable Andy with a single swipe. It has deep black eyes like an engineer, and seems to smile as it stalked and attacked people, giving it a very creepy and disturbing essence. The offspring was created from Z01, or Prometheus Fire, a variant of the black goo pathogen, harvested from facehuggers by Wayland yutani researchers aboard the Romulus module of the Renaissance space station. The black goo was first seen in Prometheus, and then in Alien Covenant, a mutagenic substance which, when introduced to a living organism, attaches itself to its DNA, breaks it down, and reforms it into entirely new life forms. Depending on the amount, the outcome can vary wildly, with the effects seemingly occurring at random. In one case, where a single drop was administered to Dr. Holloway, his body began to slowly degrade before he was killed by Vickers to protect the ship from contamination. So we didn't see the end result, but as he'd procreated with Dr. Shaw after being infected, he passed it on to her, creating inside her the trilobite, which was a squid-looking creature which serves a similar purpose to a facehugger. After removing it from herself, the trilobite attacked and impregnated the engineer, and birthed the deacon, a creature similar to a xenomorph. When a large amount is used, like when David drops the entire payload onto an engineer planet, it destroys them instantly, freezing them in place like victims of a volcanic eruption. As the pathogen spread through the wilderness, it created moats which would release airborne particles of the pathogen, which when making contact with a human, creates a neomorph. When the researchers on the Romulus extracted the black goo from the facehuggers, they intended to use it as an evolutionary accelerant on human beings, to better adapt them to life in colonial worlds, as they were thought to be too fragile to do so naturally. Rook, a synthetic, persuaded the group from Jackson's star that it could be used to heal injuries, and one of them, Kay, injected herself with it, but in actuality the blend was not perfect, and it mutated her baby inside her into the offspring which she gave birth to. It resembled a human baby at first, but rapidly grew to adult size within a few minutes and could be seen growing still. The offspring is born inside a pod which looks similar to an overmorph and contains acid like the xenomorph blood. Rain tries to dispose of it, but the acid melts through the floors and she loses it. After a short while, the grown offspring reappears and kills Kay, and looks to be feeding on a gooey substance coming from her breast. This is actually foreshadowed earlier in the film, when they first enter the Romulus module. On the artwork on the walls, among a pile of bodies, there is a baby feeding from a dead woman. After a brief chase, Rain kicks over the egg pod, spilling the acid out and melting a hole in the floor and the offspring falls through, before having a container dropped on it, falling into the planet ring. If you were wondering where the connection to the engineers comes from, and why a human injecting themselves with black goo would result in an engineer hybrid, humans were created by engineers using the black goo and share almost 100% of the same DNA, so when broken down it is essentially the same as engineer DNA, so the hybrid looks like an engineer. The black goo was either created or discovered by the engineers thousands of years ago, but the exact origin of the substance isn't yet fully understood. The engineers who used it did so to both populate worlds with new life and to destroy them as they saw fit, the ultimate act of playing God. 
the engineers themselves were pale humanoids, bigger than a human, and just as, if not even more intelligent, and highly advanced both culturally and scientifically. They are known for using the black goo and for their biomechanical technology, which blends the organic with machinery. They created human life on Earth by one of their members sacrificing himself by drinking a container of black goo, which broke down his body and repurposed his biomass into new life, which would evolve to become Homo sapiens. The engineers left clues to the locations of some of their planets, one of which was discovered by Doctors Shaw and Holloway, and an expedition to this planet, LV-223, was funded by the Wayland Corporation. Wayland himself wanted to meet the engineers, so they could grant him immortality, but instead the engineers on LV-223 thought humans were a mistake, and the last engineer was enraged having saw humans were creating beings of their own, in the form of the synthetic human David. They wanted to release the black goo onto Earth and destroy humanity, but the engineer was stopped by the crew of the Prometheus. Another creature the offspring shares things in common with, although indirectly, is the newborn from Alien Resurrection, as they are both created in a similar way with a similar end result, but parallel to one another. They are both human and xenomorph hybrids, but where the offspring was created by the black goo, the newborn was birthed from a queen alien, which had been cloned, and due to imperfections in the cloning process, adapted some human traits. While not everyone seems to be a fan of them bringing back the black goo to alien Romulus, I actually did like the idea a lot, as I am a fan of Prometheus, and thought it was a good way to link the prequel movies to the other alien movies, since the prequels never got that third movie to bridge the gap. But the way they did it in Romulus, I thought was simple but effective. I also like the design of the offspring, and when you consider how the black goo works, then the creature makes sense. When quizzed about the offspring in an interview, director Fede Alvarez said, I was hoping that people picked up the whole engineer part of it. The black goo is the root of the whole thing that was introduced in Prometheus, Alvarez explains. It's the root of all life, but also particularly the xenomorphs come out of that thing, which means it has to be inside them. It's the xenomorph's semen almost. So he thought, if it affects your DNA, and the engineers clearly came out of the same root of life, it made sense to me that the offspring of a human and a xenomorph was going to look like that. Concept artwork for the newborn has also surfaced following the release of Alien Romulus, which gives us a look at some early iterations of what the creature may have ended up looking like. Some of these have a closer design to that of the aliens themselves, reminding me of the Neomorph from the last film Alien Covenant, as well as the Ultramorph, a cut creature from Prometheus. And another in particular with more human elements, including long strands of black hair on the head of the offspring. Let me know your thoughts on the offspring. Do you like it, or would you have preferred for them to have done something different? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.